What's up, y'all? Yeah, so today, this is the first episode of this new thing I'm calling, which is the CD opening, episode one. Um, I know everybody do CD openings, but mine, you know, it may be something old, you know, like, just CDs that I run across, so I'd be like, dang, I remember that song, and I always wanted that. If you watched my last vlog when we went to Murder Beach, you already know what this is, so... Enough talking, man. Let's go ahead and get straight to it. Silk. That's right. Silk Tonight, man. Classic CD, man. Classic R&B CD. Classic, man. I was actually in, um... You know what I'm saying? I was in the car, was going to, was coming from Murder Beach. I heard a song on YouTube, and right there, I went to Amazon and bought this CD. I'm on Amazon as we speak, you feel me, on my phone, and I'm about to, I really think I'm about to get it. it actually, it's no thinking. I'm about to get it to have a hard copy. You feel me? Because I didn't buy it the first time. The first time, somebody gave it to me, so this time, I'm support and buy it right now. Why y'all on here? Cause I use in the bathroom. Just in case y'all think I'm bullshit. Still, that's the cover right there, don't fool. A song, a song, a CD, like not too many CDs do this. So I hear one song and I just purchase it right like that. I was on the road and like coming from South Carolina so I couldn't go to no CD store. And I figured by the time I got back from my brother's graduation and then came back home, that's like a, what, a four or five day period. I knew this would be here, so. What what CD has ever did that to you? I'ma start doing this. I'ma I'm I'm drop some gems on y'all, you feel me? I'ma drop some gems. I'ma do this little CD opening. And they're gonna come, you know, through the mail and I'ma open them and, and surprise you like that. So yeah, man, let's, let's get into this and go ahead and open it up real fast, man. Yep, CD still look the same. Like I said, somebody gave me this CD. Somebody actually gave me the CD. I never purchased it, so I liked it so much I figured I had to purchase it. That's what that looks like. Cool little black and red, little cover or whatnot. You know the book. Very simple. You got them in each one. It opens up like this. And you got them doing these fool gazy poses at the end. Looking like fools. You feel me? So yeah. That's that. And now to give you a little history on the whole little album or whatnot. So to give you a little history on this album, um, tonight was actually the third studio album from the group Silk uh, released in 1999. I was born in 88, so I was listening to that around 10, 11. Too young to be listening to this, but that just to let you know how, you know, how mature my mind was when it came to music. But it was that first album in four years, you know, after uh, wanting to release that contract with Last Luster. And also, um, they worked on that contract issues or whatnot. But this is the first uh, album where they had complete control over songwriting and production, which is why I think um, it did so good. And, and some of the songs that you may know from the album that were hits were Meet Me In My Bedroom and Freak Me back in 1993, if you remember that. So on the track list, there's actually 17 songs. 17 songs, that's a lot of songs. And um, again, like I said, man, this is actually their third studio album. You feel me? They had Silk, which came in 1995. They had Tonight, this one, which came in 1999, and they have Love Session, which came in 2001. No, I did not hear those two, but this one right here, I did hear, man. They were under uh, Electra Records. Well, that was the label that was under, you know what I'm saying? And, and this is a, a dope album. This album dropped March 23rd, 1999. So that's just a little gem for y'all, man. I will be doing this a lot because um, I do get a lot of CDs. And I'm going to let y'all see what I get, man, so you can see where I'm at musically. It's not going to always be 
<clears throat> just hip hop. You're not always gonna be R and B. I'm really gonna shock you, man, because I listen to a lot. You're gonna be like, what is he doing with that album? That doesn't make any sense. Like, this is out of the blue. This is very out of the blue. So I thought it would be dope if y'all seen this. And if you ever heard this, let me know. It's probably not a lot of y'all, because a lot of y'all probably crazy young, but I know it's some of y'all that know something about this. So, yeah. But hopefully you like this little episode I'm doing. I'm doing a lot of different things on this page, not just reviews and stuff. I'm doing like a lot of new things. I have like 10 more new things I'm gonna add to this page to keep it fresh and new so let me know what you think about this man comment like and you know hit me up on everything twitter instagram i'm on all those snapchat i'm on it all the time so hit me up man i appreciate the view comment like yeah i'll take it easy i'm blowing hookah clouds ain't fucking with y'all got my arm out the window like fuck it we ball yeah my rims 22 they said yeah so we out here god damn look at that line bro it's better ever come to town. Go to a spit concert. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. We got some rock all on the table. Girls all on the floor. Nigga brought a little cash, but my niggas bringing more. Hey, it's a celebration. Swell, we ballin' in this.